Hey everybody, rocking with the Rock Dog. Hey, we're out walking around on the riverbank on this pretty darn nice day in May 2022. And we're finding a few. We're not uh, finding a bucket full or anything by that means. Just a little bit tough this year. So I'm walking around. I'll give you a couple of little tips that um, I haven't heard anybody tell anybody. Since we're on a river here, about every two or 300 yards on this river, there's going to be just a little creek running into it like this. Not a creek with a rock bank, but just an old mud bottom creek where maybe the field drains out right over there or something like that. And um, this is always a really good spot to look because it creates its own little environment in a spot like this. And you always want to look on these little knobs a little bit more than you're going to want to look out in that big, vast area out there which i'm not really going to go out there unless i run into a bunch of them towards that way but you always want to look in a spot like this see so you got your uh sycamore trees some pretty nice ones that's a pretty good one there i couldn't get my arms around that one that's a pretty nice one there but you kind of got varying terrain going all way so the sun's going to shine on it every now and then just on it and maybe not on the other spot and that may be the day it needs to have the sun on it for them to come up now I haven't actually found any on this little spot right here yet, but we'll give it a, a few seconds. But see, there's no rocks in that. That's just an old cut out of a field that hasn't really been there for a really, really long time. We may get lucky in finding them. I'm finding them mostly in these open spots like this around the trees. There's probably a few out in that grass, but unless you're standing right down on top of them, you can't see them. And, they're pretty scattered this year, so you need to be able to see all the way to that bank as you're walking down here. And if there's four or five of them growing, it's pretty good size like these I got in my bucket. You can pick those out pretty quick and cover a lot of ground that way. We're getting pretty late here in Missouri this year, but it's only been in the 50s and raining and, and a lot of humidity. The sun hasn't been out, so they're staying pretty fresh in the woods. We get about two good hard days of sun. That'll make all the late ones come up, but it's going to fry everything else that's standing in the woods. We'll hunt this little spot right here. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's one right there. See, that's what I'm saying. Um, it's got so many angles to for the sun to hit just for that brief one or two hour period when this little mushroom over here needed it, see? I don't think he's done growing yet, but... He's still going home with me. If I can get down to him, I'll have to cross the creek to get over there to get that one. We'll give it a little look on the way there. We'll go up that way, then we'll come back down and get him. I don't think he's going to go nowhere. That's all itchweed there, by the way. You stick your hand in that, you know why I say that. That's all poison ivy, by the way. Just hatching out. It doesn't really grow on the vine. It grows just high enough to where your hands will rub it when you're walking. So put gloves on if you're allergic to poison ivy because it's everywhere in Missouri. But see how nice that, that bank looks over there? Just the absolute perfect spot. You got it facing this way, you got it facing that way, that way. I mean, every way that bank can face right there. So you got a pretty good chance if there's some mycelium growing in the ground around here. All these big, uh, those are all silver maple trees. Um, there's a elm tree right there so we got about everything they need to be in here and give you a good chance we are just not finding any really nice patches this year to where i could make a video of me just picking mushrooms for 10 minutes straight because that's what we hope to be able to do all winter but we're just finding 8 10 maybe 15 or 20 in a spot we haven't killed it anywhere yet but we keep looking, we might be okay. We got a few more good days. People have been leaving some comments or having some tough times. Some people have been finding a few. See, this is a little bit open in here. This is where I've been finding them. Out in there, that's a little bit too much grass. I'm thinking there's gonna be some out in here. See how that's open right in there? That's what they've really been coming up on lately. They won't come up in a spot like this, but when you get right to the next to it, like in this, you might find a couple of nice ones. We're up pretty high on this side so the river can't really get up here. I 
I would think right in here is perfect. Sycamore trees, silver maple trees. Beaver been working some poles. Beavers help you out a lot because um, if it's got, they don't really chew on uh, silver maple trees or elm trees and stuff, so they kind of weed out the trees you don't really want along the riverbank and open it up a little bit. In one of my spots last year that really helped me out big time one day. They cleared it out enough so it was open just like this spot I'm standing in. And that's exactly what that spot needed. See, we're coming all the way down on this little bitty point here where this little bitty offshoot of this field runs into here. This is your primo spot. You can run into 10, 12 of these on a, on a riverside and, oh, a couple miles of walking down it. And generally a few of them will have mushrooms on them. It's nice out here, you don't have to sweat today walking around. That can be a big problem. There he is, he ain't got away yet. Maybe we'll get back down here and we'll see a few more. All right, he's not real big, but He's gonna have to do. Anyway, there's a pretty good tip for you if you walk riverbanks and, um, like I said, everything faces every different way. Sometime during the day, sun's gonna hit one part of it. Pow, you're gonna have one mushroom come up just like we did. Or you could have a whole bunch of them if it's a great year. That one's gonna get away. Anyway, pre-washed that one. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Rock dog out.